You might be wondering how I ended up here. We have to go back in time to 15 minutes ago. I was just chilling at school studying when my friend came up to me and offered me her leftover bagel. I had been on campus studying for a while, so I was pretty hungry and was very happy to be offered free food. I should have asked my friend if there were flax seeds in them, but I didn't, so here we are. See, I'm allergic to flax seeds. In fact, I have anaphylaxis, so they act as an allergen in my body. Allergens are a type of antigen that causes an allergic reaction. An antigen is any substance that generates antibodies in the body. Antibodies are produced in response to the body detecting a pathogen or virus in the body. Peanuts, nuts, seeds, shellfish, milk, fish, certain drugs, and certain insect stings such as bees or wasps can all act as an allergen in the body. I started noticing an itch around my neck, which is when I realized something was wrong. Anaphylaxis typically occurs within minutes of being exposed to an allergen, like in my case, but sometimes symptoms appear after half an hour or longer. Some symptoms that can indicate you're undergoing an anaphylactic shock include skin indications such as rashes, hives, or either flushed or pale skin. Also, people undergoing anaphylactic shock experience low blood pressure, swollen lips or tongue, wheezing due to constriction of the airways, and a weak but rapid pulse. It can also provoke diarrhea, vomiting, and dizziness. You question me, what type of bagel is this? Um, an everything bagel. Do they have flax seeds in them? Yeah, I, sh I think so. <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm allergic to flax seeds. Oh my god, you're going to anaphylactic shock. So what is happening in my body when I go through an anaphylactic episode? Allergens react with a specific antibody called immunoglobulin E, or IgE. The allergen binds to IgE and IgE binds to FC receptors on mast cells. Mast cells are part of the innate immune system. The binding of IgE to mast cells causes mast cell degranulation, which stimulates the release of mediators and enzymes such as histamine. Histamine is the primary cause for the development of shock and causes the symptoms of anaphylaxis. Furthermore, the activation of memory B cells further triggers a response to the allergen. Memory cells of the immune system result in anaphylactic shock worsening with each subsequent exposure to the allergen, meaning that sensitivity to the allergen does not get better over time and anaphylaxis is considered a lifelong disease. Do you have an epidemic? It's... That's okay. Sir. An EpiPen is an epinephrine autoinjector. As the name suggests, once administered, it injects the hormone epinephrine into the body. It can be self-administered or administered by another individual. The appropriate technique for the injection of an EpiPen is to hold the device in the palm with the thumb covering the index finger. It's important to not place the thumb on the tip to avoid an accidental injection. Sometimes, it can be confusing as to whether or not using an EpiPen is the best idea. However, when it comes to anaphylaxis, it's better to be safe than sorry and administer epinephrine as long as anaphylaxis is suspected because it's impossible to predict just how severe an anaphylactic episode will be. Here are some steps provided by the EpiPen company on how to safely administer an EpiPen. First, grasp the EpiPen with the orange tip pointing downward. A useful way to memorize this is the phrase blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling it straight up without bending or twisting the cap. Second, place the orange tip against the middle of the outer thigh. Swing and push the EpiPen firmly into the thigh until the click sound is heard. Hold the device firmly in place for 3 seconds and then massage the area of the injection. Third, call an emergency line, such as 911 in North America, after using the EpiPen. It is important for further assessments to be done at an emergency department to determine whether additional treatments are needed. Some EpiPens come with two dosages. If the response to the first injection is not enough to help slow the symptoms, injections can be repeated once or twice at 5 to 15 minute intervals. 
Once an EpiPen is administered, epinephrine quickly spreads throughout the body to bind to a group of receptors called adrenergic receptors. When epinephrine binds to these receptors, signaling occurs to cause a variety of effects throughout the body that are helpful in counteracting symptoms of anaphylaxis. The effects of epinephrine binding will depend on the specific type of adrenergic receptor along with where in the body they are located. Fast forward 15 minutes, that's how we ended up here. I need an ambulance. My friend is going through anaphylactic shock. Even though I have an EpiPen, they're just a temporary fix and it's still important that I go to the ER for any further treatments. As of now, there is no cure for anaphylaxis, so I better be more careful with what I eat next time.